Welcome back to Tap Tech, where we dive deep into the future of imaging. Right now, the photography world is holding its breath. For months, Nikon has been riding the wave of the Z8 and Z9's massive success, but there's a glaring hole in. Their lineup that has professionals and landscape enthusiasts feeling left behind, I'm talking about the successor to the legendary high-resolution king, the Nikon Z7, III. While the rumors have been swirling for over a year, we finally have concrete leaks and industry insights that paint a picture of a camera that isn't. Just an update, but a total reinvention of the high race mirrorless category. If you've been thinking about upgrading to a Z8 or switching to Sony for that 61 megapixel sensor, stop what you're doing and watch this until the very end. This camera might be the exact reason you stay with Nikon, but it comes with a major catch that nobody is talking about. For those of you who have been loyal to the Z7 series, you know the struggle. The Z7 II was a fantastic piece of glass and silicon, but it was essentially a refined Z7. It lacked the modern autofocus muscle and the video capabilities of its bigger brothers. However, as we move into 2026, the leaked internal documents from Japan suggest Nikon is about to drop a resolution bomb. We are hearing reports of a brand new sensor, and this is where it gets interesting. While some are betting on the tried and true 61 megapixel sensor we've seen in the Sony A7R series, there is strong evidence that Nikon might be pushing the envelope to a staggering 67 megapixels or even a 90 megapixel pixel shift specialized sensor. Imagine the level of detail for landscape and studio work. We are talking about medium format territory in a compact other sealed the series body. But resolution isn't everything. The real heart of the Z73 will be the Xpeed 7 processor. Bye-bye. Bringing the brain of the Z9 down into the Z7 body, Nikon is solving the biggest complaint of the previous generation, autofocus. The Z7 III is expected to inherit the full suite of a eye-driven subject detection. Whether you're tracking a bird in flight, a bride walking down the aisle, or a high-speed vehicle, the 3D tracking and deep learning algorithms will finally be available in a camera dedicated to stills. For the US and European audiences who demand precision in their professional workflows, this isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. Now, let's talk about the design, because TapTech is all about the hardware. Rumors suggest Nikon is moving away from the old tilting screen and adopting the four axis multi angle LCD from the Z8. This is a game changer for those low angle vertical shots that landscape photographers love. And for those of you worried about the bulky size of the Z8, the Z7 III is rumored to keep a slimmer, more ergonomic profile, making it the perfect companion for long hikes or street photography where discretion is key. It's the small Z8 we've all been dreaming of. But with a sensor optimized for the absolute highest dynamic range possible. Speaking of dynamic range, this is where Nikon usually beats the competition. The Z7 III is rumored to feature a base. ISO of 64, or potentially even lower. This allows for incredibly clean shadows and a level of post-processing flexibility that makes the D850 look like a toy. If you're a landscape photographer shooting at sunset, this is the spec that matters more than megapixels. You want to be able to pull detail out of those dark foregrounds without introducing noise, and the new BSI CMOS sensor in the Z7 III is being engineered to do exactly that. But what about video? Nikon has realized that even the most stills-focused photographers now need high-end video specs. The leaks point toward internal 8K 3OP recording. Yes, you heard that right. 8K internal. And for the slow-motion junkies, we are looking at 4K 120P with a minimal crop. This puts the Z73 in direct competition with the Canon R5 II and the Sony A7RV it will likely support. It's unlog in 10-bit internal recording, making it a viable B-cam for high-end cinema productions or a powerhouse for solo content creators who refuse to compromise on quality. Wait, I know what you're thinking. With these specs, isn't this just a Z8? Not quite. And here's where the catch comes in. To keep the Z7 III at a competitive price point, trumored to be around the $2,999 to $3,299 range Nikon 
will likely omit the stacked sensor found in the Z8 and Z9. This means you won't get the same zero blackout electronic shutter or the insane. 20 to 30 FPS raw burst speeds. The Z7 III is expected to top out at around 10 to 14 FPS. For many of us, that is more than enough. If you aren't shooting professional sports or high-speed wildlife, why pay an extra thousand dollars for a stacked sensor that adds bulk and drains battery? The Z7 III is for the deliberate photographer, the artist. The person who values the final frame over the speed of the burst connectivity is also getting a massive overhaul. We're expecting a full-size HDMI port finally on dual card slots that support both Sfex Press Type B and UHS-2 SD cards. This gives you the speed needed for 8K video and the affordability of SD cards for everyday shooting. Plus, with the new 5 GHz Wi-Fi and USB-C power delivery, you can charge on the go and transfer files to your phone or laptop faster than ever before. As we approach the expected launch window, which many insiders are pointing toward late 2025, or the first quarter of 2026, the competition is getting nervous. Nikon has a history of disrupting the market right when people think they've gone quiet. The Z7 III isn't just a placeholder. It's a statement. It's Nikon saying that they haven't forgotten the photographers who built the brand the landscape. Artists, the portrait specialists, and the studio perfectionists. So is it worth the wait? If you currently own a Z7 II or a D850, the answer is a resounding yes. The jump in autofocus reliability alone is worth the upgrade. Yes. But when you factor in the massive resolution increase in the 8K video capabilities, the Z7 III becomes one of the most versatile cameras ever made. It's the bridge between the past and the future of the Z-mount. But here is the most important part, the price. In the current economy, $3,000 is a significant investment. Nikon knows they need to nail the value proposition by using the Z63 body architecture, but stuffing it with a high resolution sensor. They can keep costs down while delivering a premium feel. This is a strategic move to capture the market of photographers who want higher race, but don't want to carry a brick of a camera. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Are you waiting for the Z73? Or have you already jumped ship to the Z8? Does 67 megapixels sound like overkill? Or is it exactly what your portfolio needs? Drop a comment below. I read every single one, and I want to know if Nikon is making the right move here. This has been another deep dive into the future of tech here at Tap Tech. If you found this breakdown helpful, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. We have more exclusive leaks coming on the upcoming Z-mount lenses that are designed specifically to handle this new high-resolution sensor. And you do not want to miss that. Stay sharp, keep shooting, and I'll see you in the next one.